were these known entities, known personalities in the crypto space? Were these even on the rate these people even on your radar, for example? They were absolutely not on my radar. I'd never heard of these people since yesterday. I mean, maybe, you know, they have very flashy bios about how they're entrepreneurs, like you see in a lot of very promotional stuff. But I mean, the story has not completely unfolded. We don't exactly, we still don't have really any idea what happened with the hack, besides that it's been made quite clear by this uh, DOJ statement that these were the individuals that were looking to monitor, mo sorry, to money launder the 3.6 billion, and they haven't been charged at all for stealing. Mm. So the initial culprit, uh, you know, very much seems still to be on the loose, you know, or maybe not on the loose, but you know, outside of the public sphere, we, the public sphere doesn't know about them yet. So uh, there's more story here. It, it seems likely that these that these two individuals acquired in some kind of capacity this uh, this Bitcoin, and then you know seem to have gotten caught relatively quickly. So it was the money laundering element that they're being charged for, which also, which obviously faces, you know, a huge, you know, a huge potential jail time. But uh, we still don't seem to know who is going to be charged, if anyone, with stealing and, or hacking the initial Bitcoin. Thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, interviews, deep dives, shows, and documentaries on the stories you care about most.